Are you still trying to learn how to super glide in 2024? Keep watching to learn my tips and tricks and what I think are the best ways to learn in season 19 and beyond. A quick note before we get into actually super gliding. A super glide can be done on both mouse and key as well as controller and you can do it on console as well. To begin, let's first talk about how a super glide works. Most, if not all, of Apex Legends movement tests centered around retaining momentum that you gain from sprinting, sliding, or jumping. The super glide is an extension of this in the sense that it lets you keep your momentum at the top of your mantle animation and convert that into forward momentum that propels you. To get started, go to this spot in the firing range over in the 1v1 arena. I find this to be the easiest spot to learn because you can use a full jump into a mantle and really dissect the entirety of the animation to get your timing down. While you can super glide off of anything that lets you mantle, I find it easiest to learn on something that you full jump into so that you don't have to focus as much on the timing of the initial jump. This is because super glide inputs really aren't that difficult. The hard part is to just get the timing correct. The inputs are to just simply press the crouch and jump input button on the last frame of the mantle animation while also having a forward sprint input. Now for this, I recommend having auto sprint turned on to make this easier as you will just need to hold forward. And boom, a super glide. Okay, I know, I know, much easier said than done or you wouldn't be here. All right, let's get started on the fundamentals needed to super glide. Run up to this ledge and climb up it to ensure that you are familiar with the entire animation. Repeat this until you're uncomfortable and be sure to switch between both third and first person views so that you can see precisely when the animation finishes. After you are comfortable with it, start adding a jump at the top of the mantle animation. You can tell that you're pressing your jump input too early if you aren't jumping at all. You can tell you're pressing it too late if you just jump straight up. Once you are consistently getting forward jumps out of the mantle, then you are edge jumping, and it's time to add the crouch to your inputs. You want to be pressing crouch exactly at the same time as the jump in order to super glide. The easiest way to tell if you did a super glide correctly is by looking at your character's knees once they are in the air. If they are fully extended, then you have successfully done a super glide. It is easiest to tell the difference in third person while you are learning the timing. That's really about it for the how-to. The important thing to keep in mind is that you can super glide and edge jump off of anything that you can do a mantle animation on. You can also start adding different directional input movements to change which direction you are sliding, which can lead to some crazy clips. Just remember, practice is the key to the timing. Thank you so much for watching, and if you are interested in my gameplay, please consider checking out some of my videos like the one you see in the corner. I'm a new channel and plan on uploading weekly and would love your support. Peace.